It's the Kyle Hyman Show on Redeemer Radio. This is Kyle Hyman here with Andrea Sereni. We are going to play a game that we are calling Advent Traditions Around the World or Just in Kyle's Mind. That's right. I will tell you an Advent tradition that is either something that happens around the world or is imaginary. I just made it up. It's just my mind. (laughs) You tell me which it is. All right, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. In the 17th century, starting the first Sunday of Advent, Benedictine monks in England would each take a daily brick into the countryside, carefully placing them on top of each other. By Christmas, there was a new small shrine where the villagers could pray. This is amazing. Okay, I want to just start out by saying I want all of these things to be true, uh-huh. and I cannot wait to talk to you about your thought process and how yeah. you came up with the fake ones. Uh-huh. Um, but in the meantime, I mean, true. Sorry. Oh. It is not. <laughs> you just I mean, made that up? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you are now officially my uh, go-to person for coming up with new ideas for how to celebrate liturgical here's a, things. Here's a new Advent tradition. Great Sorry. idea. All right. The Jesse tree okay. started in medieval times and is used to help tell the story of the Bible from creation to Christmas, including such stories as Noah and the Flood, Joseph's Coat, Moses, the Ten Commandments, and Billy's Puppy that could do cool tricks. <laughs> Wow. Um, well, I would say a solid 80% of that was right. Uh-huh. Although, I don't know about, is from medieval times, but Jesse Tree is definitely real, but I personally don't have any ornaments about Billy's puppy. That's, so false. That's, that's great. Yeah, uh, medieval times is, is what, I, what I found in my research. Okay, I just didn't yeah. know. Yeah, yep. yeah, interesting. Uh, started in medieval times, like the time period, not the... Amusement. Uh, that is what popped into my place. head at first when you said many <laughs> times, and I was like, "Oh, go, we're going there." Okay. All right. In China, Christians light up their homes with beautiful paper, paper lanterns and red paper pagodas that are cut out and placed in the windows during Advent. Uh, true. That is true. Cool. Very believable. <laughs> yes. And also, I mean, that would be a lot of falls in a row. Anyway. But also, like... I was thinking... I, 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 almost, we could do. I almost said false Paper just lanterns. because... Like, they, they aren't... People aren't very nice to them. Right. You don't want to make a big scene about it. So that it. would be like a pretty public Maybe. display. Yeah. But brave and holy. Got it. Love it. In Belgium, gift giving happens on December 6th for the Feast of St. Nicholas. The saintly the bishop. The real clause. Uh huh. The saintly bishop gets on a horse and delivers gifts to everyone. Amazingly, all in one night. <laughs> then the attention shifts to celebrating the birth of Christ. <laughs> now I'm just imagining Bishop Rhodes getting on a horse yes. and delivering presents to Please everyone. Please make this happen. How can we? Can new, we start a petition? New, new Cupertino classic bet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I would say this is the true thing they do in Belgium. That is true. Yeah. I like that they basically yeah. do the gift giving, and then they shift. Yeah. Now it's we're just focusing on Jesus. I do like that. So, yeah. I like that too. I've been that's something we've been trying to do is whenever Marielle talks about Santa Claus, I remind her that it's Saint Nicholas. Mm. Nice. She doesn't believe me. No. <laughs> In Denmark, the Danes will dress up like shepherds and go door to door singing carols and asking where they can find Jesus. They end up at a live nativity where the Christmas story is told and acted out. Oh, I like this. True. False. Oh, man. Made that one up. That's, we could see, do that, though. You right? have such great <laughs> ideas for celebrating Advent, man. This is great. In France, the gift giving spans from December 6th to the 25th. Wow. Moving to France. Yeah. <laughs> With the big celebration, Christmas Eve, where at the stroke of midnight, they celebrate with a meal and cakes. Cakes, yes. Not not cake, cakes. Okay, seriously, you celebrating for like two whole weeks. Right, right. For the it. children put their shoes by the fireplace instead of socks. Well, they put their shoes out instead of socks. Instead of stockings, yeah. And they're filled with horns, toast, 
fries and braids. Um, as in French horns, French toast, French fries, and French <laughs> braids. <laughs> okay, that po- that part seems like it's made up by well, you. I, I did definitely made up that part. Yeah. <laughs> is is the rest of the, it true? The rest of it's true. Yeah. Okay, they seriously saw break Christmas for like twenty days, <laughs> I, and uh, according to and they eat internet. cake at midnight, guys. I am now French. <laughs> <laughs> In the Netherlands, huge candles are purchased and burned to last the whole advent. Okay. Prayers are taped onto toothpicks and stabbed into the side of the candle. Ooh. And as the candle melts, the toothpicks are released and the prayers fall to the floor and are hopefully answered before they land. Oh, interesting. Um, I'm going to say false. Yes, it is false. <laughs> Although, you know, Father Andrew Budzinski has been posting on his Instagram. He has one candle for Advent this year that like you're supposed to burn just a little section of it every day. And then it has the numbers counting down. Oh, I was like, I need that. Yeah. Since I still don't have regular Advent candles. In Sweden, the oldest daughter serves special treat on December 13th, the Feast of St. Lucy. She dresses up the part including jewelry, and wakes her family for a traditional breakfast of fresh baked buns and cookies. Yeah, this is true. Later in the day, they have some fish and rice pudding. Oh, didn't know about that part, but I do know about St. Lucy because of American Girl dolls. <laughs> okay. uh, one more. In Russia, they have 25-character nesting doll with all the figures from the nativity scene. Each day, one is opened and the next character removed and set up. The last two are Jesus inside of Mary. The awkward thing is how small Mary and Jesus are. <laughs> Compared to the giant shepherd. True. <laughs> no, it's false. 